I did speaking Besides of and, Golden Voice. I did a, a a blockchain event a couple days ago, Thursday. And mm-hmm. oh yeah, how was that? It was cool. It was interesting. There's some uh, you, you know BitBoy, yeah. Yes, the, kinda. The YouTube personality that talks about crypto, he's got a beard. Um, uh huh. He was one of the people. And uh yeah, there is an interesting moment. You can watch it, people. Uh, but it's cool because uh, just kind of from like an event logistics standpoint, I kind of geeked out on just because it was cool. Uh, digital events and like the networking part of it was really cool. I I haven't frequented in hella hella physical conferences, but like you can pack in a, a whole lot of meeting people digitally, like right back back to back that i don't think would be the same with physical even though you, you just sign up to do that no I, someone reached out to me interesting what did you yeah. talk about uh it, it was uh crypto in the media my vision of it didn't exactly pan out people were kind of just talking about like crypto media and like it was kind of basic about like um like yeah. People ended up talking about like, oh, is it bad to talk about risky things? Uh, and I kind of wanted to go more towards technology, but the panels veered towards that way, so I had to ride the wave. Um, but it was cool. Something to put on the resume. Yeah, something that was fun. So, um, is it like blockchain summit? I might be up there next year to do it physically. A yeah. Uh, yeah, I wish I had gone more like technology based because I was like, what's really because the whole thing with media and I, I probably should have been better at kind of setting it off on top, but like media and people doing media is completely funneled through technology. So mm-hmm. like social media, that's only possible. In, like the transition of how people are getting information has changed because the technology changed. I think there's a book called uh, The Medium is the Message. And uh, it's like an audio thing. I think it's older. And there was a typo. And it's called like Media is the Massage. Something like that. But I wanted to talk about how the evolution will continue for media as technology changes. And Web3 based technology changes to get decentralized. Um, like YouTube or ads. Um, but I didn't get there. I just uh, trademarked on a whim. Kind of regret it, but also don't. MetaMask. I'm sorry. Metaverse Media. Solid. I was just like, I don't want don't anyone to get this. <laughs> and then it gives it gives you like a bunch of things like your my, yours might be similar to this. And I was like, damn, everybody's coming up with like Metaverse fucking shit right now. Someone was like Metaverse, Metaverse fucking skincare or some shit. Like metaverse fucking hospital. I mean, yeah. Like, are people actually going to build shit or are they just trying to buy this shit up so that Facebook can buy it from them? Definitely people are just grabbing up a percentage. People are just grabbing names that have metaverse in it. I veered yeah. towards kind of not being super on the head with it unless you're doing like a very specific thing. Because eventually that word's <laughs> going to be old. Um, I thought about that. I was like, what if like it's weird to call your company metaverse media in... 2030 but also netflix what is netflix netflix has the word net in it so it's like netflix so i'm sure back in the day it sounded cool but now people don't even think about it yeah it'll sound if you build a brand up it just sounds like the brand but could have called it webflix webflix the people say people used to say the net a lot people (laughs) what in the future, won't say metaverse a lot. Yeah, people say, mm. dude, one of the, another conference I was kind of covering, uh, the dude who made the World Wide Web was mm-hmm. there. What? <laughs> don't really know what that consists of. The guy? The, the main guy? Uh, the guy, he made WWW, dude. <laughs> he was like, yeah, uh, I kind of made the internet. That's cool. That's cool. So if you, you tell someone that at a bar, they'll never believe you. Yeah, I kind of, even like him talking about it, he was up there with another guy, and some some like string of words was said, and 
the other guy was like, yeah, so thanks for the internet. And, and the guy was like, yeah, no problem. And it's just at that point, it's like, it's bigger than you. So you're like, yeah, I, I made the wheel. Like, all right, man. But like, Yeah, but then <laughs> Steve Jobs hops in the call. Everybody will lose their mind. You got, you got to brand yourself. You got to play a little WWE character building in the process. But I, I'm sure he was, he was probably satisfied with his work. I don't know if I would prefer a public image or prefer privacy okay so let's say kind of two things you build a super big foundational piece of technology like whatever www is <laughs> don't really know what it is off the top uh -huh. have no public image or build a piece of technology and more so a brand uh, a la apple but have a public image so super foundational you're probably super geeky, like Cody dude, who's been like, yo, I've been, this is, this is going to be life changing and I have changed people's life. No public image. Your incentives are probably more so about the product and, and, and just moving technology, uh, probably similar incentives for the brand oriented thing, but you know, the brand's the brand. So you have a public image, which one private public. Yeah. Well, what if you're like, that www guy i don't know how much money he has what if he's broke and you have to just rely on being the guy that made the internet you know yeah you could show up in a commercial because everybody knows who you are you, you could have maybe made a brand in, in on alongside it you know but like i said i'm kind of assuming this person is just like head deep into like developer side of the world and when's the last time there was like a famous dev is zuckerberg a dev i mean they're all kind of devs weren't they i mean like zuckerberg and elon musk are engineers mm -hmm. but I'm, i don't think they spend most of their do day doing the engineering they just oversee teams it's but so you know but like like for example elon musk is not a super strong public speaker but he kind of was just like thrust into the limelight because his products are so good like just by doing interviews and stuff and people pulling them up on YouTube and like over time that compounds his it's not your like mold of like this is a good public speaker but the character that he has on there from an outside perspective is uh, a little bit intriguing to consumers I do think that has a lot to do with like the cultishness of the technology which helps but like if you're making a, a cultish brand, you can kind of just be your personality either way. Like, what's that guy's name? Larry Elder. What are the richest Google. men on the in the world? Owns Oracle. A lot of people don't know who he is because he doesn't really do a lot of interviews. It's also like I mean, Oracle. It, it goes like brand to brand, right? Like Steve. Jobs was very in the public. He was like, but that has to go with the technology of being like, yeah, this is like the 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 people's phone, you know. So it's very people oriented. Yeah, it's very flashy and cut and like put together. Uh, Tesla's technology brand is like, yo, screw all y'all. We're gonna like make you're gonna make stuff that no one thinks is possible, and you can see that in. And Musk speaking. If sorry, I said Larry Elder. It's not Larry Elder. Yeah, that guy is uh is the politician that was going California. Or calls by uh, what's this guy's name? Larry something. He was good Ellison. friends with Steve. Ellison? Larry Ellison. Yeah. Um, but if you're doing something like Oracle, which is like enterprise based and kind of not flashy but very institutional to things. Uh, then you you probably don't need to have a lot of character in the press. You think if Oracle had followed through and bought TikTok, people would know who Larry Ellison is? Kids? Uh, probably not.